You don't need a luxury kitchen to prepare gourmet meals. My name is Dennis. I live in a mobile home in a trailer park, and this is my kitchen. We are just starting to come into the warm time of the year, and strawberries are just now coming into season. Although by the time you see this, it might be pumpkin season, who knows? But at least here now, we're coming into strawberry season. And one of the things that I've been wanting to experiment with is a fresh strawberry gelato. Gelato is an Italian ice cream. And the best way I can describe the difference between gelato and American ice cream is that gelato tends to be less commercial there's usually less preservatives and other chemicals in it. And gelato tends to use fresh fruit sometimes, often. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make this with fresh strawberries. Now, like making ice cream, you have to start off with a cold mix, but it needs to be cooked somewhat first. So you make the base first, then you chill it usually for several hours in the refrigerator. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make the base today and then put it in the refrigerator overnight. And then tomorrow I'm going to put it in my, my ice cream maker and make my ice cream. This is my ice cream maker. It consists of four parts. This is the motorized base. This is a canister that you have to store in the freezer for overnight, typically 24 hours. This gets really cold, and this is what you use for freezing the ice cream. This is the lid, and this is the churning paddle. And the way this works is, rather than the paddle going around churning the ice cream, you assemble it with the canister on the base, and this motorized thing turns the canister around, and the paddle stays stationary. And so you turn your ice cream around the paddle, and that's what churns your ice cream. So next, let's go back to yesterday when I made my base for my fresh strawberry gelato. As I said, there will be some cooking. So I have a saucepan out into which I'm putting 3 quarters of a cup, 150 grams of white granulated sugar and one tablespoon of cornstarch. And then with a whisk, I'm going to combine these well. And then I'm going to be adding one cup, 237 milliliters of whole milk and three quarters of a cup, 177 milliliters of heavy cream or whipping cream. And then mixing this together well. Next, I want to move this to the stove. I'm whisking this over medium heat to bring this up to temperature. And I got to tell you, this is the first time I've made ice cream using cornstarch as a thickener. Usually, I make a custard with egg yolks, and egg yolks are the thickener. And this is also the first time I've made gelato, so maybe that is something that is customary for gelato. In heating this up, what I'm bringing this mixture up to is near boiling so that that cornstarch will thicken a little bit this liquid. You don't want to boil it very much because once it starts boiling, then you start breaking down your cornstarch. So you just want to heat this up, get it up near a boil. When it starts to thicken, take it off the heat. Okay, so I just turned the heat off under this. This has thickened a little bit. It took about five minutes for this to come up to a boil. As soon as it started to boil, I turned the heat off. It's not thick like a custard is. Well, I can show you. Let me take this out. And here's a clean spatula. And you can see it's hardly what I would call a coats a spoon stage as far as thickness goes but I'm not making a custard. I'm just making a milk base for my gelato. Now that liquid needs to be cooled down and the quickest, easiest way to do that is just put plenty of cold water in your sink and then float the pan in that cold water. That's what I did. I even added a couple 
dozen ice cubes to the water and then stirring it once in a while let it cool down it should be cool to the touch but you don't need to get it refrigerator cold at this point while my base is cooling I have been hulling strawberries I need two and one quarter cups of sliced hulled strawberries I have weighed what I've got so far here and I'm coming up with 11 to 12 ounces of strawberries 310 to 340 grams I thought I would show you hulling strawberries in case you don't know what that is I pull the top part off that green part to expose the stem and the white part then you just go in at an angle with a knife turn the strawberry around till that middle part just pops right out it's that simple and then to slice it I mean how difficult is that so there's my sliced strawberries that's easily two and a quarter cups next I need to puree my strawberries I'm going to do that in my food processor and this will take only a little bit should scrape things down and I'm going to be using pomegranate juice a couple tablespoons in my gelato if I have to I can pour that in there to get some liquid to help this to puree a little bit more I've got that pureed down very nicely that's a real nice liquid I do have a few solid pieces in there like that one right there so I'm going to run this through a strainer just to get those solid larger pieces out now I've got to tell you I have never strained a strawberry puree before so I don't know what to expect here I do have a conical strainer a chinois but that is too fine a mesh basically all that will leave behind is the juice so I'm going to see if I can push this through my strainer see nothing is coming through or very very little is coming through and that's what I expected I'm going to work this for a while and see how much of this I can get to come through in the meantime I have taken my milk base out of the water bath because it got down to room temperature so it's ready I just now have to get my strawberry puree strained actually once I started once I developed a rhythm here this went pretty quickly so that's not bad that's the pulp that I have left behind that's my strawberry puree I want to taste this I wonder what that tastes like like strawberries so there is my strawberry puree and here is my cooled milk mixture Gonna add that to there and I'm going to be adding two tablespoons of pomegranate juice blend this up and that is looking so much like an ice cream base already I like the feel of that it feels thickened can tell by the resistance of the whisk as it moves through same feel as I would expect in a custard or as I get in a custard when I'm making a custard for ice cream <laughs> there it is beautiful coloring so now there is my ice cream base this you have to let chill for at least three hours I'm gonna cover this put this in the refrigerator and chill it overnight and as I said tomorrow 
I'll put this in my ice cream maker and we'll start making ice cream. I am ready now to begin making my ice cream. There is my fresh strawberry gelato base that's been in the refrigerator overnight. There is one trick to assembling this thing to control the paddle more easily which has to line up with some guides inside of the lid. I put the paddle in the lid first and then I hold it with a finger. There's kind of a loop in there that I can hold it with. It's kind of hard to show you that. But I hold it so it stays locked in the lid. And then there's some guide points here that fit into grooves on the base that lock into place. And one thing you need to do is you need to start the machine rotating before you put the base in. Because the first thing the base is going to do is start freezing because that canister is so cold. And if it freezes to the walls of the canister, it'll lock the paddle. The whole thing will be locked up and jammed. So start it rotating first. And then to try to prevent too much of a mess here, I'm going to use a funnel. This is the top of a juice jar, a juice bottle. And I'm going to pour my base in there. Make sure I get it, get it all. By the way, I tasted this base. It is delicious. Talk about the flavor of fresh strawberries. Okay. That is, that is churning. Got a little bit of a mess here, but not bad. This will go 20, 25 minutes. What this is doing is while that base is freezing, the paddle is also working air into that ice cream. And it's what gives the ice cream its texture. I want you to see a close-up of this. See how it's very nearly coming up out of the top? That volume now is because I've turned so much air into there. So what I need to do now is quickly get this out of here into a storage container for the freezer. Okay, so I can turn this off and get my paddle out. I bought a couple of these containers specifically for storing ice cream and that's all I use it for. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Nice and creamy and smooth. The reason why I have to do this quickly is because that canister is of course very very cold. Zero degrees even after 20 minutes. And so as I'm doing this, the ice cream is freezing to the walls of that canister. If I had kids, they would love to have this right now so they could lick the paddle. And I did taste this ice cream. I took a little cheater taste out of the top. And boy, does it taste like fresh strawberries. Okay. This is the part that I have to do kind of quickly and get this all out of there. You end up with about a quart and a half of ice cream. And you want to get this into the freezer because this isn't ready to eat yet. It's too soft. You want to get it chilled down a little bit more. The ideal temperature I looked it up on the internet. The ideal temperature at which to serve gelato is supposedly 7 to 12 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 14 to minus 11 degrees Celsius. I got most of that out. I still have a little bit frozen in there. And I got a little bit on the counter, but that's fine. That's for me. So actually what I'm actually seeing here is about one quart. I have these measurements on the side. So I'm seeing about one quart of ice cream here. 
get this into the freezer and this should chill for a few hours to be ready to serve all right i've had a late lunch it was eggplant and lamb shepherd's pie i don't know if you've seen that one yet or not i haven't scheduled the lineup of season two yet but i am ready because this is ready to taste my fresh strawberry gelato and this is going to be my dessert after my late lunch mm. Mm. creamy and smooth and it tastes like fresh strawberries I mean this doesn't taste like that pink strawberry flavored ice cream they sell in the store no this is real fresh strawberry gelato mm. that is so good so excuse me I'm gonna go enjoy my dessert for a printable PDF copy of this recipe with step-by-step -step photographs visit the white trash cooking website and look on the home page or in the recipe archive